So what are we getting up to this weekend? This weekend, we are actually right now on our way to Seward, the town of Seward, Alaska, which is, I think about an hour and a half, two hours from where we live. Um, this is our first time there this spring. This is our first camping trip in the van this spring. So it's pretty exciting. We haven't been to Seward since maybe like mid-summer last year. Uh, it's a really beautiful town and we're looking forward to going back. Uh, right now, what we're planning to do is meet a couple of friends at a campsite really close to the national park that I can't think of the name of. Kime Fjords National Park. We don't really know where the campsite is. I think it may be, the idea may be to go down an embankment onto the riverbed. There are gravel and stone bars out there that you can drive out to and camp. We've seen people out there camping, but we've never done it. Um, it should be really cool. It's a glacial river that comes off of Exit Glacier from the National Park. Um, so it seems like a really cool place to camp. It's a little intimidating because, you know, this is a cool van. It's an all-wheel drive van, but it is not like a four by four. It does not have low range. <laughs> so we'll see what we get into. Maybe we will be able to get out there and drive on the sandbar and camp and maybe we won't, but we'll see. And then the following day, tomorrow, we plan on picking a hike that we haven't done near Seward or between home and Seward and going on a new hike and checking that out. So thanks for coming along again. Uh, if you can, real quick, guys, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, that helps us out, helps make our channel bigger. So I just wanted to sneak that in real quick um, and enjoy this video. Thanks for tuning in. Hey everyone, just wanted to give you a quick update. So we had to change our plans yesterday. I guess the access road down to the river and the gravel bar that we were gonna camp at is still closed for the season, so it's not accessible. So we ended up changing our plan and we camped here at Ptarmigan Campground. Uh, we have not been here before. It was, it's a really lovely little spot, kind of nestled between the white peaks of the mountains here and uh, it's not really tourist season yet here in Alaska. So the campground is more or less empty. I think there's one other group that's camping on the other side of the campground. So it's nice and quiet. So we got to hang out and just enjoy some, some peace and quiet here. So we just, uh, we're making some coffee we're hanging out next to the fire. We're warming up some breakfast burritos that we prepped last night before we came out. So we're just gonna kind of hang, uh, let the dogs enjoy being outside a little bit. And then we're gonna go check out the, the trail out of the campground here.
Hey guys, having a good hike here. Beautiful, follows the river up to the lake. So we're hoping to get that view. I think this hike is about technically seven miles if you go the whole way up the lake. We're only gonna go to the viewpoint, I think, just to see the lake should be about three miles. But it's such a nice hike so far. I love love hearing the river running and the cascading over the over the rocks. And yeah. it's it's so pretty. I love it. Because when you get mountains, lake, and lots of beautiful trees. Yeah. On yeah. one hike. It's a really lovely forest here. So it's a it's a pleasure to hike this one. It's nice and easy. If you guys are are in the area and you're maybe heading towards Seward, either from Anchorage or from further away, this would be a beautiful place to come. Just stretch your legs before you get into town and, you know, go get some dinner. Um, it's nice and easy. It's not a lot of elevation gain or anything. It's just a really lovely hike to just stretch your legs a little bit before you, before you get into town. So I would advise stopping by. Hey everyone, just wanted to do another quick check-in with you as we're hiking. We've uh, determined that we're not going to hike far enough to see the lake. Uh, I think it's about three and a half miles or so, um, which would make a you know, six to seven mile round trip. And uh, we just don't have the time to do that today. We have an event we're trying to get to uh, back home. So we're under a little bit of a time constraint. So we just wanted to come out and try and see how far we could get but we're not going to get the whole way there so we've we've turned around and we're just taking our time you know just enjoying the hike uh, and what a pretty day it is and what a pretty hike this is um, as you can see we're we're still by the river there and it's it's really gorgeous so we just wanted to have a, an easy hike and just get some easy exercise in uh, not totally wipe ourselves out for the rest of the day so like I said we're heading back it's been lovely it's still lovely so once we maybe get back to the car, we'll we'll decide what the rest of our day is going to look like. Maybe we'll take you along with the event we're going to tonight. Um, but thanks again for for tuning in. We just stopped at Wildman's to get our first milkshake of the hiking season. It's always a good excuse to come get a milkshake after we get done with a hike. I actually think maybe we do the hike so that we can come and get milkshakes from Wildman's. Yes. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, it is now the next day. Um, when we last left you, we were heading back from our hike um, on the Ptarmigan Lake Trail. Uh, we kind of ran out of time. We weren't able to, to complete it and get a view of the lake. Definitely gonna go back and do that one and do like a full review of it. So you guys are a little more familiar with that trail if you ever wanna visit. Um, the reason we had to turn back was we went to an auction last night. It was really cool. Um, we didn't really know what we were getting into. We knew it was for charity. Um, it's one of the things you have to buy tickets for, you know, to go in and, you know, they, they give you a little meal and everything, but basically you're, you're auctioning on, you know, hunting stuff, hunting trips, guns, different stuff like that. So it was, it was pretty cool. Something we'd never done before. Um, so that was neat to check out. But obviously we had to get back in time for that. You know, we had to get back and shower and dress nicely. 
And so, yeah, that ran in late into the night. Since we didn't really get a, a nice long hike in yesterday, we've decided to go back out again today. We're gonna go do the Bear Mountain Trail, which is in Skilak Lake, uh, where we tend to hike a lot. You know, it's our closest really good hiking. So we're gonna run back there. I've just uh, just finished kind of packing up the car here. I'm gonna throw the dogs in. We're gonna go pick up our friend Tanya, who I think you've seen probably in a video before. Um, she's gonna have her, her brand new puppy with her, so that should be exciting. Uh, we met the puppy, super cute. Um, and we're gonna go check out this trail. It's not a real long trail. It does go, uh, you know, it's decently steep up a mountain. Um, but it's not it's not really bad, but it gives you a nice view. Um, it's a nice day again today. It's sunny. I think it's 45, 50 degrees out maybe right now. It's a little windy, a little breezy. So it's kind of chilly. So I think the overlook up there will probably be cold. Um, but for now, it's nice enough to go for a hike. So thanks for sticking with us. You're getting a, a two, two hike for one <laughs> video here. Um, so I hope you enjoy and thanks for joining us. We'll see you on the trail. Light enough that we can probably do some evening hikes too in the in the during the weekday. Hey guys. Hey everyone. Uh, we just got back. We dropped our friend off back at her place and said goodbye to our other friends who we hiked with, and that was a good hike. It's a little. Little uphill battle there. Luckily, it's not too far. Um, it's a good little hike to get in on a Sunday or even during the week after work. So we'll be back to hit that one again, and uh, we enjoyed that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really nice views. Definitely worth the steep incline to get there. Yeah, that's a that's a small hill for for Alaskan trails, so it'll help us get in shape for the big ones, which we'll try again here uh, coming up soon. So thanks again for tuning in. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. 
and we'll see you next time. Bye, Bye guys. Everyone.